Welcome to the Amish Road Show. My name's Seth Doctor, and today I wanted to take you down to meet the great guys from Penny Dutch. Penny Dutch is a local clothing company, um, mostly focused around alternate sports like skateboarding and things like that. Great group of guys. I met them online. I liked their t-shirts. I started talking to them, and then I had the opportunity to go do a, a community event with them uh, the other Saturday. We were cleaning up a, a local park in Reading. We'll talk about that in the interview. But this is just a great group of guys, very local minded, <clears throat> very cool, and I just, I wanted to interview them and, and let you guys know about them. Now check out their t-shirts at pennydutch.com and uh, let's check out this interview. All right, so I'm out here with the guys from Penny Dutch. Why don't you introduce yourselves and tell us what you do? I'm Ryan, one of the owners of Penny Dutch. I'm Derek Bell, one of the team skaters from Penny Dutch. I'm Rick Royer, I'm pretty much design and work on the Penny Dutch TV. So um, Ryan, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, what Penny Dutch is? All right, well, I'll go back in time a little bit to 2011 when we came up with the idea. Uh, myself and Geronimo Gonzalez, who's not here, kind of wanted a brand that could represent locally Lancaster County and the surrounding areas because we felt like there wasn't a brand around here. They did that, everything seemed West Coast based or New York City based. We wanted something that the kids, because you know we're all getting to that age now where we got kids and probably grandkids soon on the way. I know everybody here is getting, getting close to 30, so um, we wanted something where we could call our own, you know, something where we weren't importing it from China. The kids could wear it, be proud of it, and say, you know what, I am from Lancaster, and this is where I get my stuff from. And at the same time, be a company that supports back locally. So we get everything we do here, all our graphic work, which a lot of it's done in-house with Rick, but all of our graphic work, our printing, the people we work with, we try to stay as local as possible, give back what we get to the other people who are around us making it happen. And then we started with our Team Penny Dutch, which is where Derek came along. And uh, we had some other guys on the team prior to him. You know, something where we could have somebody around here who has talent, who wants to go somewhere with it, maybe doesn't have the things or the tools out there to get them to where they want to go. And we can help expose them and take them to different places. And, you know, have them do things that maybe they wouldn't get a chance to do without us. And that's our way of giving back to the people who support us. You know, and that's pretty much what we do now. All right, so you're saying that Rick does most of the uh, design work. Uh, these are all Penny Dutch shirts? Yep, all Penny Dutch, Lancaster County made and right. designed. That's cool. And uh, what kind of what kind of stuff are you looking to do? T-shirts, uh, anything else? Yeah, we're actually looking to get into quite a bit of gear. We had to start off with T-shirts because of the, the pricing involved, obviously inventory and design and um, you know types of uh, like dado type things to make things with different different items is expensive. Right. I mean, it's it's not. Hey, I can just go print a shirt if I want to print a shirt. If you want to print a shirt, you have to print hundreds of shirts. So in order to get the, the sales base and the audience for it, you had to make sure that was there first. Because I can't just print a shirt because you like pink and he likes blue and I like red. Right. We had to make sure we were strategically making the shirts that we knew would sell and that's kind of how we started it. And then we can move into other things. We're currently working on our skateboard, which has uh, been time consuming. And then we have hats that are being embroidered as we speak. And then we have a bunch of other things. We want to do board shorts, backpacks, new stickers already. We want to do more stickers. And, you know, other types of shirts, tank tops, long sleeves. We do hoodies now, but obviously it's summertime, so, you know, we'll save those for winter. But, I mean, yeah, we, want to, we want to nights, jump into everything. Yeah. All right. And uh, so the Derek here is on your skate team. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, let's see. We met up at Fill the Screams 2012. And I was just there skating one night and trying to feet and live it up and these guys came across me I was a decent rider and they talked to me, sat down and talked about me possibly having a skate team to work so I was like alright I'll, I'll leave my name number and hopefully something comes out. Well like three months went by you know he's looking up some gear and stuff which I'm impressed with so rocking for this day I love it. Fresh to death. And now, now they gave me a call a few months ago and Ryan uh, Blue was like hey I'm still interested in that skate team I'm like, like yeah man. 
like, well, you know, we'll be, uh, be welcome to be part of a uh, Dutch ski team now, you know. Just keep it up and keep us supporting us and rock out and skate your heart off. And he's like, all right, this is the way I do it. And just love sporting them. And exactly put another whole nother level aspect to skateboarding. For me. Cool. Just gain more respect for myself and to the sport alone. Cool. And I have to respect what they're doing, giving back to the community, and keeping it local. Cool, man. Got respect. Cool. And then actually, that's one of the ways I found you guys was on YouTube through your, um, what's it called? Uh, PD TV, yeah. PD, PD TV. TV, all right. Mm -hmm. And that's your responsibility, Rick? Yeah, I work, I work on those. And then, um, like, right now we're thinking of just not uh, having just the, the gear, not just the skate. We're like, let's entertain. Like, sometimes shirts don't sell themselves. Yeah. And But it's like, let's give people something back where it's like, oh, Penny Dutch is more than just a teacher, or they're just more than a skate. And we can provide entertainment. Uh, we have some future plans and some really interesting uh, concepts we're going to put on PD TV that are yet to be seen. Well, a little, little tidbit. Uh, a game. A game. That having some people involved. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking right now this is just going to be a closed circuit type of friend type of deal. Maybe if it, if it becomes popular, people like it. Maybe next year it might be an event. Who knows? <laughs> cool. <laughs> Definitely cool. So uh, where did Penny Dutch come from? Like, what's the name? Like. I've seen your t-shirts with the uh, the penny with the Dutchman on it. Yeah, Tell me a little bit about that. All right. All right, well, obviously, Penny Dutch is short for Pennsylvania Dutch for an area we're from. Um, the guy on the penny, that's who we call the original Dutch master. Why we call him that? Because Dutch master sounds cool and people <laughs> think the name's catchy and we didn't want to call him the original Amish man because uh, we just thought that was too trendy. It doesn't so, have that ring too. Yeah, it doesn't have the ring. <laughs> So we came up with the original Dutch Masters, actually a character that we've seen in person before. Um, obviously we're not going to expose who he is, because he doesn't want to be exposed, but we took his likeness, turned him into a cartoon, we had, had him designed and put on the penny. Penny, hence the first part of our name, Penny Dutch. Um, you know, just took the penny and rolled with it and kind of turned it into a secondary logo type thing, and that's uh, that's how we came up with that. That's awesome. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to be putting, at the end of the video here, I'm going to be putting some footage from a, a recent community event that you guys did. You want to tell me about that and kind of what your your vision is for community outreach? Absolutely. Um, I mean, obviously, we're, we're from the area. We grew up around here. We're not strictly associated with Lancaster. That's just where we chose to base our company from. Um, we're all from the area. We all grew up in Lancaster County. And, um, you know, we support them. But we reached out to a bunch of local communities who are in the area in central Pennsylvania or Pennsylvania Dutch country and said, we got guys available. We know that the area needs help. Not enough people give back and volunteer. It takes too much. And you can see just from putting on that project how hard it was to get 10, 12 people in one spot at one time to give free time to help somebody out. So we thought we would help out by organizing that for an area that needed it. We reached out to the city of Reading, the city of Lancaster, and just said, hey, do you have an area that needs attention that we can help with? Something for the kids, something like a park or something like that, or a public area. Reading came back to us first and said, hey, yeah, we have a perfect spot. Found this park over in the southeast section of the city, which is, if you're from the area and you know Reading, that's a really bad section of town. It's probably under supervised, under patrolled by the police. Uh, it's obviously low poverty. Uh, people just don't seem to care about it as much as they should obviously as much as you would a downtown section. So we knew that was the perfect place for us to go and help out. Visited there a month beforehand, just stopped in like every other week or so, talked with the kids who were there, talked with the adults who were there, find out what they needed most, what they wanted to see change. Really hit home with us, because after meeting those kids and knowing that I live in a place where my kids can go out and shoot a basketball and not have to worry about stepping on a drug needle, not have to worry about seeing used condoms or beer bottles or just the crap you shouldn't see at a kid's park. I felt like, hey, we need to do something about this and really get home. And personally, another level with me that I wanted to do something about it. And that's why I reached out to our crew and just said, hey, we need to get our hands around this and get some volunteers involved. And we had some great support from, you know, Isaac's Deli in, in Lancaster, um, which has branches all around uh, Central PA, helped us out financially, gave sandwich coupons to the kids. Uh, Home Depot and Lowe's helped us out with materials and, and equipment. Uh, the Reading Royals in, in Reading donated season tickets to uh, two families, which was awesome. 
and then we had uh, obviously tons of volunteers. You know, you came out from the Amish Road Show, which was right. awesome to help out. Um, we had local families there helping out. My family came and helped out. You know, we had friends that came out and helped. You know, not as many people showed up because it rained that day, but you know, enough came out to make a difference, and uh, it was huge for us. Uh, you know, and we hope to do the same thing in Lancaster soon, and probably it's going to be a lot bigger because the, the the name got out, the activity got out, people saw what we can do, and now it's going to be even bigger. I think the second time around. Cool, cool. <clears throat> Well, hey guys, it was great. Thanks for talking to me. And uh, let's check out some skating and check out some, uh, some clips from the community project. Team Petty Dutch. Got you fresh.